The all-adult snow flock rolled in much earlier than usual this year, which was cause for ongoing concern that would set the tone for the rest of the season. I managed to coax a bunch of adult snows into the decoys, while the rest of the team is dealing with spotting under less than ideal conditions. The birds are doing funny things this year, giving Mel grief with some Canada geese on his hunt. The weather gods are definitely mad at us. I'm Claudio Angaro, and I take people hunting. I woke up one day as a 27-year-old school teacher and said to myself, I'm gonna build a hunting lodge. That was in 1994. Now I lead my dedicated team of guides for 63 days each fall, exposing my clients to some of the best waterfowl hunting of their lives. Controlled chaos, epic hunts across 5 million huntable acres. We are hired to hunt. Have an interesting situation here with some specks and a bunch of uh, adult snows that showed up. Um, so our morning hunts went very well. Jeff, I think, ended up with 32 geese, uh, all honkers. Daryl has 13 honkers and a limited duck. So I'll take his guys in here. What's interesting is we got a bit of a front rolling through or have a front rolling through. So the geese are, some of them are bedded down. They don't really want to go to roost. The ones that are going to roost are roosting right in a fairly substantial pond in the field and they're trading back and forth. I don't think there's a lot of grit in there so they may end up going back to another pond where they go for grits. So I'm just gonna watch these for another, hopefully they go back to roost in you know, half an hour or so. I'm just gonna babysit them, put them to bed. And uh, I know Daryl's on his way back, you know, back to the lodge and, and he's gonna button those guys up, get them fed. I know Jen's, Jen's got lunch ready to rock. And because it's cold fronty, we're just gonna get the hunters right back out and, and get them hunting, because you never know when they decide to fire and come and feed. So we wanna definitely be underneath them. Yeah. That, the boys are a little rusty this morning. That, that, one came up, yeah. flared right in front of us, smiled at us. Van and I blasted three each. Yeah. And he just flew away, didn't even get touched. We, we had a couple do that today, too. <laughs> well, you got him. That's all that matters. Deeks, Deeks had a good day. It, it rained on us. Things got pretty muddy. He uh, decided to change his color. I don't know. He's not really looking too yellow right now, but <laughs> just been hunting nonstop. Lots of fun, lots of limits, uh, lots of birds, lots of dog work. Good shooting, poor shooting, just just waterfowl hunting at its best. It's been awesome. I love it. <laughs> Team meeting. Team meeting on how to fish. We're gonna put out. I hate to say this, about 1,100 decoys. 1100? Yeah, 1100? 1100. Stick them in the ground. There's 550 on each rack. All right? We may not put them out off. Birds start coming, we quit, okay? So we're going to do this. We're going to put the blinds. One, two, three, four, five. And I'll be right here, okay? And basically, we're going to run kind of a really long J with a short side, arrowhead up top just to funnel the birds in. And then here, though, we'll probably run a white salt and pepper leg here. And then we'll taper off with a bunch of white. And then we'll go salt and pepper all through here. Lots of dark, lots of white ones around us. And then, and then on this side, I think we'll go just about all speckle bellies. And then I'll run family groups on the inside, okay? okay. Uh, I'll lay out a perimeter, and then you guys start stabbing. Now the ground's gonna be really hard because it's been so dry. You just gotta try to get them in so they don't blow over. Right. Cool? Okay. All right. We'll put different guys on the corner. Perfect. Okay, good. So basically what we have, we got about 5,000 specks and snows feeding in here with some ducks, some Canada's too, insignificant number, but um, watch them feed here till 12. I went in, got a quick bite to eat, came back, and about quarter to one, they finally went all back to roost, which is good. You know, let's, let's hopefully we can kill 25 specks and two Canada's and a bunch of snows if we can, it would be good. So that's the skinny. Right here, guys, four peeling off. Ooh, hang on. Hang on, big flight of whites on the deck, guys. Just hold tight. Oh my, this is a tough decision. If the five do it, we may go on them. Get ready. Yeah, we're probably gonna go on if they're perfect. Hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. 
Hold, 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 hold. Get ready, big flight is on us. Oh yeah, good call, good call. Get ready, boys, get ready. Ready? Ready? Kill them! Nice. Reload real quick. Load quick, load quick. We maybe could have let them go around again, but they're adults. Load quick, load quick. Flight on the right coming back, guys. Be patient. We may have to let them shoot past. Let them go by, let them go by, they're too hot. Let them go around, let them go around. Get ready, out in front, out in front. These ones will slow down. Get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready, get ready. Ready, ready. Roll them, roll them, roll them, that's perfect. Nice. See, that's how they're supposed to do it, guys. <laughs> Wasn't that beautiful? Single, guys, single. Load up, load up. Right side. Drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him, drill him. Hit him, hit him, boys. There you go. That one made us work for it, huh? That was cool. Boy, you know, this is a pretty big pot of honkers right here. The specks and ducks are farther out into the field, but it's almost worthwhile targeting these. I'm sure the rest will come to us, but they're not, a, when I say Canada's, because they got white cheek patches, but there's a flight of lesser Canada's in there. So there's probably more like about 50 big guys and 150 little guys. Then farther out in the field, we got for sure a lot of ducks and some specks. So the cool thing is there is those little lessers will come in where the specks go in, particularly in the morning. They act more like a speck the big honkers are usually by themselves, but... And there, there's enough of them in here as well, but now that I got a better look, it's a lot of lesser, so we don't have to be real concerned about screwing up a big honker hunt. It's just trying to figure out where you might want to hunt this one is the tough part, if we get permission. Whatever's in the hole, we're gonna go. Get ready, guys, these are gonna be killable. Uh, no, let them work a little more, a little more. Okay, get ready, get ready, be ready if they fly straight over. Oh yeah, get ready, get ready, get ready, ready, ready. Rip up, boys! Oh. That one got in somebody's way. <laughs> that was nasty. <laughs> Hang tight, guys. We can kill these four, maybe. Oh, yeah. These ones come do it. Hey, kill the four, guys. Kill the four. Shoot them off. Nice. Nice shooting, boys. Oh, left side, guys. Big flight, big flight. They drop a leg like that, they like it. Be patient, be patient. Let's get them to line up. Ooh, hang on, hang on, hold tight, hold tight, hold tight. Get ready on the four. We're gonna go on these four if they're right in our face. Hold, hold. Hold, 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 hold. Ready? Kill them, guys. There's lots of birds there. Oh, that was kind of my bad. 
I just snuck in the far north end of the field and idled very slowly up the fence line. I was sure the geese were still here and I just was creeping a hill and, and seeing them. So I'm backing out of here very slowly because I was a long ways away, but that, that doesn't mean nothing. If they get nervous and they leave now, it's not good. So I want them sitting there and everything looks good. I think we're safe. So if I would have roared in this field, it wouldn't have been so safe. And I know, I know where they were at 4.30 and they're not very far away from that position. So I'm just gonna look for the best possible spot and go, go with that. We'll see how it goes. I, you know, we'll know by nine o'clock tomorrow morning if we're smiling or if we're frowning, but I, th I think it'll be all right. Hey, how are you? I'm, I'm good. Good. That's good. Well, I <laughs> think I'm good. You think you're good. Well, I got, I, got, I got to be good, but my birds just left. Well, they've been sitting there a long time? Oh, they were here when I got here at 4 o'clock. Yeah, they're, they're done for the day, I'm sure. I know for a fact at 4 o'clock there was about 270 to 300. Right now, there isn't even close to Come that. On. But, and the ones I've been watching okay, through this little tiny 20 foot. Five honkers. Are you kidding me? It, no, I'm not kidding you. No, I'm not. I was just talking about it. We, we haven't seen a honker all night. We got five on the deck. Well, we got the truck in the field. Uh, just the way it's going to go. How did your hunt go? The, uh, the specs laughed at us all night. And then, uh, the snows did it nice though. We killed 22 or 25. I mean, they're all right there. You know, it was good. But, but the and they're all piled up on the other end of the field. But that's that. All right. Well, call Daryl. Tell him to go check out Ovi's ducks. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. He's close. Okay, bye. Bye, bye. Oh, bye bye. Uh, yeah. You know, we should be all right to, uh, for tomorrow. Jeff's got a combo. Mel buttoned up uh, a honker hunt that we've been watching, has some ducks on it. So we definitely want to hunt geese in the morning with ducks because the way the weather is, we just, we just got to do it that way because there's, you know, you end up with afternoons like this when it rains and it messes up the geese. So see how it goes. I mean, time to clean up a thousand decoys and get these guys in for uh, dinner and a cocktail. They're all wet and we all want a nice hot shower. So time to get out of here. Yeah, I, I just seen some of my birds just now, I, I'm in a straight line with them. So I, I tentatively pinned it on, on uh, my phone so that when I go in the field, I got somewhat of an idea. And then from there, I'll just look for some sign. And uh, I just got to find a proper spot to set up when I go in. So this will help. I'm just going to look at a couple of roosts now to make sure the birds aren't in it and then we should, we should be good to go. Shot, well, we had to take them because yeah, they floated down. right in. So. field which is good well it is an absolute beautiful morning uh, this morning we have Jeff uh, hunting a combo and Mel hunting some Canada geese which could be a tricky hunt we'll see what happens there uh, it all looked good until the very last
couple minutes when he put it to bed and they went to roost a little close. And, but uh, we'll see how that shakes down. Anyways, I'm watching a bunch of ducks here, a bunch of specks. I gotta go check on some Canada's. Big wave of geese coming there right now. So uh, lots of birds around, which is good. It's just a matter of, you know, seeing what they do and, and if we can put something together for this afternoon, which I'm sure we should be able to. So should be good. Oh, 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 right in front, guys, right in front, right in front. Just keep down, keep low. Go! Two down. Yeah, good shooting. Well, they're starting to go. It's a, it's a slow start. We've got five. Uh, fog's really rolling in, so a guy's got to really keep his eye out and, and listen for these things because it's going to get to the point where we're not going to be able to see them. But it's going to be a little bit of a struggle for sure, I think. I don't know. So far, so good. I think it'll get even better with this fog rolling as long as the birds can find us. Uh oh, right in front, right in front, right just spit black track. Take them. Go, go, go! Come on, it's hit, so there we go. You got two. You... Yeah. You should have had about six out of that. Go, 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 go! Hey, yeah, good shooting. Let's hurry. <laughs> we got geese somewhere. So we're, we're looking for some ducks to back up Mel's, Mel's hunters. I mean, he, he ended up with about 10, uh, 10 candles this morning and he's still out there, but won't get a duck. So there's, there's a situation here where there's a lot of ducks, but we can't really get to them because there's a whole bunch of standing crop and there's some significant ditches and irrigation structures in here that make it difficult to get to the birds. And that's if they're even feeding right there which I think they are, because there's evidence here where they've actually mauled the crop. So it's just a little bit more complicated than I like it to be, and I just gotta try to figure out a way in. If I can get in, if not, we just have to wait till it's harvested, you know? This is it right here. But I think the duck feed is just over the hill, and we might be able to figure this one out here. Lots of ducks here, wow, wow. Look at this. This is all full, full of ducks. I knew they were hitting this ditch. So here's the duck trails. They're, they're, they're just, some of them are walking up right through here, some are just hopping up. And that's why once they're in here, once they land, we're not seeing them fly out. They're walking out, I think. And this has all been fed on, it's all shelled out. I knew it. I think this is the feed right here. How do you hunt them here though? Oh boy. I might have to call the, the landowner back and see if we, we can get in here somehow. I might have to just go through a little bit of, uh, just a tiny little bit of crop. And it, most of it's destroyed anyways. And then we can get the ranger in here. I think we can shoot them in here. We'll see. We might have to watch it once more. Now that we've been in here, we know what's going on. We'll see what's going on. Now that we know what's going on, we'll kind of have to see what's going on. Oh, boy. Ready? Ready? Go! Come on, boys. Hit him. Good job. Five guns, we better not miss. Oh my <laughs> God. We wouldn't have been happy if you would have. I was going to be laughing big time. <laughs> Set up right on the middle where everybody got to shoot. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think you were going to get him for a minute. I know I, know I didn't get it. I'm okay with that. 
Greg, if, if we add up all the birds we've individually killed, we have like 28. Yeah, I know. Now we're at 11. No, I, I think we'll get the, <laughs> the odd bunch coming through. There's still a few flights flying that the boys are saying, so. As long as there's a few flying, like that one come right in, just like it should, so. But yeah, no, we're doing all right for the conditions we faced with this morning and yesterday, so, so far so good. It'd be nice if we could pick up eight or nine more and then it'd make a really good morning. Kind of a tough morning here at the camp. Jeff ended up with uh, 23 of his 32 ducks last I heard, and about nine geese. And uh, you know, we had a bit of trouble spotting too, just from the weather. You know, last night was, yesterday was inclement, and we got this front come through, and it cleared up, and now we've got more front. I can just feel that cold north wind. And I think I'm just gonna go back to the lodge, and, and we'll make some decisions, talk to the guys, see what they got going on. There's a duck hunt north of the camp, and there's this. I mean, I don't know, we'll just figure it out. This one's gonna be a, a, a trek to get in here and especially trying to reduce any of the damage. Although, you know, a couple tire tracks versus 5,000 mallards beating up the crop is probably uh, the lesser of two evils, you know? So, uh, we'll see, we'll figure it out. At least I know where they fed and I'll and, uh, we'll take it from there. It's a wrap. <laughs> well, the morning didn't go as good as I thought it would. Uh, we had a lot of fog come in, which screwed up uh, probably 70, 80 birds. We ended up with 11. There was a lot of birds in here last night, and it's just, they didn't come in this morning. There's a few coming in now, of course, we're packing up, but uh, the birds that did come in did it really, really well, so the guys got some quality shooting. But uh, yeah, tough hunt. But it's it's tough out there. I mean, we're get, we're getting a lot of snow geese now. Uh, we don't have the number of specks it's normally here. And uh, yeah, it, it's it's a weird year. It's a tough year for sure. We're we're used to that easy stuff. Now we got to work for it. <laughs>